Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 24th of 2025 is titled Comet G3 Atlas, a Tail and a Telescope. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the comet known as G3 Atlas, and it passed closest to the sun a little about 10 days ago on January the 13th. And just a few days after that, it was pictured here over one of the observatories down in Chile, and that is the Paranel Observatory down in the desert mountains of Chile. And the comet is very prominent if you are south of the equator right now, very prominent in the sky, and actually definitely visible to the unaided eye, although a longer exposure like this certainly brings out far more detail than you would begin begin to be able to see with your eyes. So we see the comet head down towards the bottom and the head seems to be fading. So surrounding the head is the coma and the coma is starting to become more diffuse. And that's likely a sign that the nucleus of the comet is disintegrating. Now, when a comet passes close to the sun, and if it passes close enough, this can happen. The intense energy of the sun can vaporize and ruin the nucleus of the comet, ripping it apart with its gravitational forces and its heat, and therefore no longer being uh, present. So the comet is then going to fade away over time, and the nucleus will just simply disintegrate, and then the tails will dissipate out into space. So for the meantime, we get to see this as a very prominent comet. And over the coming days, we'll see how long it lasts as that comet begins to disintegrate and loses its source of material because it is material from the nucleus that then gives us the tails. So they can become very prominent for a short time while the comet disintegrates, but then over time will start to dissipate as that material is used up. Now we notice the tails pointing upward away from the sun, which would be down below the horizon here. The tails of a comet do always point away from the sun. And that is because it is the sun's solar wind that pushes them back and causes them to stream back away from the head of the comet. So if we see a comet in the sky, you always know the general direction of the sun by just going opposite to the direction of the tails of the comet. So we shall see over the coming days as this nucleus continues to disintegrate what will happen to this comet and how long it will remain visible in the skies for those in the southern hemisphere. So that was our picture of the day for January 24th of 2025. It was titled Comet G3 Atlas, a tail and a telescope. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.